the way that the Bible lays it out here, even in the Ten Commandments, gives us a great idea when it says here, first of all, because this is the very first commandment, is thou shalt have no other gods before me, which is verse number three. Okay, God's number one out of the Ten Commandments is no other gods. And number two is thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. This is a pretty all-encompassing statement here in verse number four. He says, don't make a graven image. Now, graven would mean like it's, it's, it's got like molten over. It's a, it like you think of engraving, right? Something that's covered and graven. Uh, so this image, basically like a statue or a sculpture that's, that's, that's graven here. He says, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath. So things that are up in the sky, in the heaven, whether it be birds or the stars or plants, you know, anything in heaven above or on earth beneath. So earth, what do we have? We have people, we have animals, we've got, you know, all manner of stuff on earth or that is in the water under the earth. But then the verse doesn't end right there. There's a colon and it says in verse number five, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So we have kind of two things combined in this because this verse four and five are one commandment not to make any graven image and not to bow down unto them. They're kind of, you know, they, they go hand in hand. It's the same, it's ultimately, it's the same statement here. But when it comes to idolatry and graven images, it's always, we're going to see this as we go through more verses and turn, if you would, to Leviticus chapter 26. And then we're going to turn to Deuteronomy 29, if you want to start getting ahead. What you're going to notice is that you will see when idols are mentioned, there's always a reference to this bowing down and worshiping. Idolatry goes hand in hand with worship. Okay. Now, the commandment's there not to make the idol, as well as not to bow down to the idol. But the reason why I'm bringing this up is because just making an idol is bad enough, but idols are things that are intended or kind of meant to be worshipped or can be worshipped, right? So it's not like, a, the reason why I bring it up is it's not just any object that exists that could be molten or something, right? It's things that people might find themselves bowing down and worshipping or creating to be like religious artifacts, it, you know, it, but the problem with that is that it can be a lot of things. Because what did the children of Israel bow down and worship? A golden calf. Because you might think, well, why would anyone worship a golden calf? Well, they did. They put their metal in the fire and it came out like, wow, hey, look, it's a calf. And they say, these be thy gods. Now that calf was an idol. And they, by making it, just by Aaron making it was a sin. And then going ahead and bowing down and worshiping it adds sin upon sin, right? That became an idol by, by pulling that out. But see, it's still tied in with this concept of like creating a false god or something that's going to be worshipped. Leviticus 26, verse number 1. The Bible reads, Ye shall make you no idols nor graven image, neither rear you up a standing image, neither shall you set up any image of stone in your land. And then look what he says here, to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. We see again that that's tied in there to bow down unto it. So the purpose of these things being set up is to be worshipped. That is what an idol is. It's something that's being created or established to be worshipped, to be set up, to be set up as God. It's not just any object out there altogether. Like I don't think, let me put it this way. I don't think that all, um, you know, some animal statue is necessarily just an idol. I don't believe that. If it's not created and intended to be like, you know, a, a, something to be bowed down and worshiped, I don't think that it is. But see, you have to be real. And I'm going to get, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. You still have to be careful with these things. 